Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, got a, I guess we can call this in your own words here from John Newbro, Sr. And as you'll see in the, in the, in the uh, letter he wrote, he uh, came to one of our golf schools. John goes on to say, just wanted to say I, en I enjoyed my school and have been hitting balls and recouping from bronchitis. Finally got to play 18 today. I am really liking your swing system. I noticed my back hurt much less, and I was not as tired as I usually get. I hit some really good drives and irons. I did hit several on the toe, not sure why, and three short irons fat. But I think I'm making good progress for such a short time and little practice. Anyways, thanks, and I will let you know how I progress. We'll be playing a lot in February. John Newbro. All right, so let's, that's a good thought. He's, 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 he's obvious he hasn't been doing it that long, and he's hitting, a, as he said here, Hitting really good drives and irons. Did it a several on the toe and sure not why. And three short irons fat. So let's 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 go ahead and evaluate what he just said there. Not sure why. Alright? That brings up how to play better golf. Rule number five in the surge rules is if you hit a bad shot and you say to yourself, what did I do wrong? The answer is who cares? Do the next shot correctly. That means Go back into your getting into your good peak performance setup, grip, stance, posture, alignment, and then go into a good peak performance setup uh, swing to go with that setup, which goes back to your basics. Wide knees out with pressure, hold your knees, swing your arms faster, finish in the T finish. Three quarter limited turn backswing, three quarter, you know, and finish. Now, most of us can't be thinking about all that thing every time we. All those things every time we swing so you, you should be focusing on one main swing stop we hear a lot of pros talk about uh when they interview pros at golf tournaments they say you know what are you working on well i'm working on this in my back so i'm working on that you don't ever hear them go into a litany of how many things they're working on when they're when they're playing they might have one one swing thought maybe two they might have one with a driver they might have another one with irons but when they're hitting that when they got that with those clubs in their hand they're 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 basically focusing on that one major premise and naturally all the other good things are still are still going on which number one is always while getting into a good setup, all right? So we can, we can get a good answer there and a good comment about what's going on, on with that. The other thing I want to talk about is, is, is you notice he said that he's hitting really good drives and irons. He hit a couple toes and everything else. But one of the other big things about sometimes we, we need to look at in terms of evaluating whether we're hitting the ball better or, or our swing is getting better is not just the amount of good shots we hit, but, but number of, of other type of shots we hit. So sometimes you can actually say, if you're keeping good stats on yourself, you can say, wow, I didn't hit one ball out of play today. I did not lose a golf ball. I did not take a penalty shot. So one of the, one of the, one of the things that, that, that can say that you're improving your ball striking and therefore your score would be showing it too, very likely. And, and, and it's not, it should always just not be scored doing it. Because how many times you hear pros on TV say, well, I, I hit the ball really good today, but I just didn't take advantage of a lot of good stuff. So you can hit the ball great some days, and you, and, and you just you just don't make enough putts, or you or you have a few chip shots that don't come out just quite good, and and the putt you don't make the putt, and but it wasn't a bad shot, but it just wasn't good enough. But the key is, is you start looking at it and you can start evaluating how how many bad shots did I hit? Are they less bad? Are there less of them, or fewer of them? Correct. That means improvement. If your bad shots are fewer and and not as bad, that is improvement, okay? And, and But ultimately, what is the ultimate, I think, the best definition of, of playing better golf? Golf is a game of misses. He who misses best wins. So misses aren't bad shots. They're just not really good shots, but they're a heck of a lot better than any degree of mediocre to poor, ugly and bad, correct? So, so... One of the ways that if you start evaluating your swing, not only by your stats, is give yourself an overall, an overall evaluation of, of your round in terms of your ball striking and your play. Some days you might just say, hey, I, I never pulled the right club, especially if it's on a windy day. I hit a lot of good shots, but I just never had the right club. I just kept misclubbing. Well, those are going to happen some days, especially if the wind's blowing. You're playing, you're playing for the, the wind to keep blowing at a certain amount from this way to that way or whatever, and it, and it, and it either raises, it either gets more ferocious, the wind, the wind velocity goes up, or it goes down. I mean, if you're playing, if you're playing in a strong wind, and you're taking that extra club or two, and, and as soon as your ball comes off the club, the, the wind just dies down like that. There's a good chance you're going to have, you're going to be, you're going to be flying that green, or at least hitting it way to the back if you, if you would take enough club to get to the front or just the center or something. 
So conditions can change. And so we have those days where sometimes nothing goes right, and other days, even bad things go good. So you gotta an analyze all that. But just remember, golf's a game of misses. He who misses best wins. And improvement isn't always just the score. Analyze the totality of the round. And, and mediocre shots are better than bad shots, all right? And good misses are better than, than bad shots again, right? And so analyze things and live with that motto. Just golf's a game of misses. He who, best, he who misses best wins. And, and just do your analysis after every round. And, and you can't just go by score, all right? So that's a, so hopefully the, the train of this, this lesson today has gone to evaluating, evaluating your body, your mind, and the results of your shots, honestly. And, and when you do that after every round, you, you'll be able to, to give yourself and make honest judgments as to the improvements you have and how well you're playing, taking all, of, all, those, all those different facts into consideration. For getting an honest evaluation gives you honest answers. Okay? Well, that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking with you all again soon.